Well, what I like about the Fly Slinky model is it allows you to really see very visually that wave energy goes out in all directions when you have, when you have an earthquake. Usually, usually teachers, they start with a slinky and there's only something going in one direction. Right, and that's a nice intermediary between the slinky, which shows sort of energy in array, and the idea of wave fronts that we show on other resources like seismic waves. So it's a good sort of transitional model for students to see and think about in class. It's also something that gets them up and moving around, so they really start to engage with this material, and they really remember it because they kind of have a kinesthetic link to this abstract concept. And it even, even lets them learn about earthquake location because they find out that the waves take, take a certain length of time to get to different stations, and if the stations are, are, are different distances away, they can, they can hear that as well as see it. I love things that are visual like that.